I'm at my dad's workshop in Anchorage, and uh, he's working on uh, some cabinets for, uh, he bought a piece of property in Seward too, down the road from us, and already started buying stuff for the, the house doesn't even has a foundation yet, and he's already building his own cabinets. But uh, this is some of the stuff he's working on. Um, anyways, on our build, um, on this, on these corner pieces, uh, we picked these up at Lowe's, but the uh, we just changed the veneer on them. But the rest of the cabinets all be custom built. When the, these corner pieces are, we just uh, didn't really like the 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 way they looked. So that's what we're what we wanted. There's the other one over there. So anyway. Got some other cabinets in there. Some of those, I, I think the ones over there are ours. And then he built this door. It's not for us, but I think it's for a friend of his. So, yeah, so we're gonna cut some Corian while I'm here. This is the Corian we're going with. It's a uh, Vulcan is the pattern. Let me just cut a piece of Corian for the uh, window sill, the big window in the kitchen. And two pieces of trim there. Build up trim, yeah. We're going to glue them on there. Here's your glue gun and your glue. Two part glue in the right color. Okay. And it's sitting on some cabinets that are going to go in the kitchen. Yeah, that kitchen, that one to the right of the refrigerator, one to the left of the refrigerator, one to the left of the stove. That's your base is made out of solid maple plywood. Good, strong plywood. Oh, that's maple plywood. Okay. Now, I thought that was that Russian plywood stuff. No, Russian is what we make the drawers with. Oh, okay. And it's nine That's ply. what This is seven ply. Okay, and this gun here goes like this. This is the neatest gun you've ever seen. And this, at this point, you got to work a little bit fast. Okay. Because it sets up quick? It sets up pretty fast. It depends on how warm it is, and it's fairly warm in here. Yeah, that's easily 70. Now, what? Make sure you get plenty towards the front because that's the only part you see. And if you do good, you, you'll glue this stuff together and you will not see the seam. Okay. Now that's done. That, tit, that, 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 that thing is toast. Okay. okay. So let's go to the shiny side here. Okay. All right. And there's dust on the, on on the, the top. The not, uh, on the top, not on the bottom, right where the glue goes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Screw that around a little bit. Make it clear. This thing. This thing. Push that. Huh? There's a broom behind you. These clamps depends on how you lead this stuff. I don't know if you want to put this on YouTube or not because this is a one of those kind of things that protect how they do. Oh, there's everything's on YouTube nowadays. Is it? Yeah. That's what we're trying to do with this build is try to implement as many things as you find on YouTube. And yeah, well, some of that stuff you got to be careful. I see a lot of flaws in it. I've been looking at it. Okay, give me some more clamps, and then you can... Okay. You just got this... cut, routed, sanded. We're getting ready to 
put a finer grid on it and we'll be done. Just cut this box out for the sink. Countertop. Alright. Well, let's see, February 2nd. Uh, Spencer and I had just finished up. So we got uh, a little more sheetrock put up. Got the ceiling fan. And then there's a light fixture going to go there. So we got that done. This We may work on the lid a little bit more tomorrow. It'd be nice to have a third person. I got two guys holding the one guy who's running the screw gun. A little bit more difficult with two. But, you know, we got her done. So tomorrow, Spencer and I are going to come in here and I'm going to start going up this, uh, coming down this wall with sheetrock. I want to get this thing finished tomorrow. I think we can get her finished. It's, uh, Jen's not working, so I can actually come up here and put a full day in. And Spencer said he is available early, which will be nice. I think we can get her done. The other thing is uh, put this piece of Corian in here. It's not permanently mounted. I just wanted to make sure that we did it right. But there she is. It's going to look good when we get that trimmed off and everything done. So I got my samples in the mail. I sent off our samples for our um, concrete stain. We have forest green, canyon brown, woodland olive, kind of a lighter green. I wanted to uh, try... Um, them individually and also I've noticed that when we looked at the site that they were using this um, uh, Cordova tan and Canyon Brown together you know where you'd have uh, the lighter one as your base and the darker one to to accent it and then what I really wanted to do on our floor was to try to mimic kind of like jade soapstone type look um, you know use this lighter green here and then the darker green to accent it so but we're going to try them individually over here where the cabinets are going to be we'll clean this up over here and do a couple samples of them individually we'll sponge them on get it nice and clean and uh, because the cabinets are going to be there you know we'd be, able, be a good place to test Let's see what we got anyways that's the plan. And then I want to do another sample of combining them and seeing how that looks. And if we like that, because I think that's really, you know, of all the finished products I've seen, the combining them looks amazing. So that is where I'm at with that. So do a little bit more update tomorrow and maybe publish one. Have enough footage, I guess. Hey there. <laughs> It is Saturday, February 3rd, and Emma Jean and I have been up at the high school watching some basketball games. My students have been playing a little tournament. Our school is very small, not even 200 students, so go out and cheer the kids on, and Emma Jean runs around and plays with some little friends, and it's all good. So we're on our way home from having a little day off doing that, and just seeing what's going on up here. I see a very large hole right there, and that's looking good because that's where the vent needs to come out but it must have taken a little bit of an effort to uh, bore through six inches of concrete so looks like there's some activity okay looks like his dad's here and Orion over there let's go in and see what's happening finishing the sheetrock in here and we're going to put a that hole up there for the vent hood. It's already got a hole. We done drilled it today. Yep. So you want to take some measurements for the cabinet. Just your size. Should we get the door like that? Yeah. Well, you can get in and out of there. So we're getting some sheetrock put up in the bedroom here. Looks 
Hi there. Well, Seahawks won the last two games, but not enough to get win the tournament. Second place. So. MG had fun chasing around with the kids, so that's the main part. Yep. Thanks for. Oh yeah, she was playing basketball this morning oh, down at the Fox League. Uh, yeah. So looking good in here. Just cutting everything out. So just cutting out the holes there. Well, we're moving right along. So. Um, Got the sheetrock up in the kitchen. We got the range head in. Uh, we drilled out the um, hole in the ICF last night um, for our event. That's always fun, but it, not too bad when you have the right equipment, I guess. I got the sheetrock hung. Need to do a little trimming. Got to put more fasteners in. We're just I had some help, so I just wanted to get it hung. So I can always do the fasteners myself later. So I need to get this thing fire taped, especially over here, because my dad's building the cabinets right now, and he wants to come back in three days. So I just need to get this thing fire taped. And um, except for on the backsplash, I'm gonna finish that. I was gonna do Corian back there, but we decided we're just gonna um, <clears throat> just do sheetrock, uh, and then I'll uh, do a roll-on texture pattern, a leaf pattern which is this guy right here. Many of you that watch home improvement stuff on YouTube have probably seen this. Um, see Jane Drill, thank you very much. You're, you're definitely one of my favorite people on YouTube. You're definitely amazing, you have such a good positive attitude. And yeah, this is a great product. I tested it out and man, it just really looks amazing. So we went with the leaf pattern. We're thinking it's gonna look nice. And so I'll have that leaf pattern back there. And then, of course, uh, in the living room, we're gonna have that. The ceiling, I'm just gonna fire tape because uh, we're gonna tongue and groove it. But I may finish it and texture it because uh, we're talking about just uh, in order to get the house finished and, and stuff and uh, try to keep our budget under control, we may have to just out of pocket that as a home improvement thing down the line. But anyway, we'll see where we're at when we start crunching numbers again. And then I got the bedroom mostly done. Uh, Spencer and I just hung these two. We had, I had two more pieces that I got yesterday at the hardware store. I just wanted to get them up. So, yep, moving along. And my dad and um, Orion are going to come back. And uh, we're going to get this bathroom started. I need to get some sheetrock on the back wall is what he asked me to do uh, before we mount that tub. And I probably need to do that side wall too. I'll talk to him when he gets back because we still have some plumbing we need to do and I'd hate to put sheetrock up and be in our way. The back wall's okay, I can do that. Anyway, that's the update. And we're getting there. Man, it's amazing how quickly a mess develops. <laughs> Until next time. Okay, so it's right at 45, so 45 and a half, or 44 and a half, I mean. It's and Tuesday, and half. February 6th, and they're hiding high in the uh, crawl space here. This is going to be the storage area up in the loft. Hello there. Oh, you cut the door out. Cool. Yeah. Hello. Oh. And. I need uh, to put a Getting uh, this sheetrock up here. Put a board here. across there and then one across the top. To get oh, yeah. And then put a board in the center. That's going to be the portal to get in there. Oh, okay. So we have to. Okay, cool. So you're just going to work your way across. Hey, work your way across over here. So, this is their little. So they got their piece. Put it up there. So we're going to put that last okay. piece up. Ready? All right, he's getting that ready down there. And you guys are going to get up there? Yep. Okay. Screw that last piece in. And then, uh, then we're going to move to the bathroom. Priority. Okay. Space 
left here. So you're in. There you go. So this is a, it's helpful to have a couple of people holding it up so then it's got screwing it in. It's just uh, sometimes they get not available, you know, school and other uh, commitments, but when they are available like this after school, then he's utilizing them to get that finished. We now have a tub in the middle of the living room which is only going to be temporary, I am told, because they are going to start sheetrocking back here. Supposedly, his dad's coming back to work on plumbing. Hi there. It's <laughs> looking more like a bedroom. This is a piece of Corian that Scott and his dad were working on in his workshop in Anchorage, and so it was kind of a test piece to see how that was going to work here. So um, looks great. We really want to take advantage of the large space here. We've got 10 inches, you know. Well, we like we can really use that for um, a cooling rack area. Now some people may say, well, you could put your pies there to cool and open the window, but we don't bake pies, but Scott makes a really amazing homemade tortilla. <laughs> or we can make some cookies and just put the racks here and do that. So anyway, this is a piece that was cut off, and I thought this was kind of interesting how the, oops, sorry, um, how they put that together. And uh, see how they put the glue in there? That's when you guys were at Papa Chris's and put that together but what I think is really amazing about that you know how they made this flip is that when you look I mean you cannot even see the seams on the side so that was the piece and then they did these rounded parts here so I really like the way that that looks and um, this is going to be great so we're going to do this on all of the the lower level windowsills or uh yeah, we're going to go. So his dad and Orion hung the hood vent here, cut the hole, so they're going to do that later. But I guess we wanted to just see exactly, quiet please, where this was going to be located so they could measure for the, where the cabinets are going to be around there. And um, I guess moving this over here is a better decision because it's easier to uh, to vent it out here because originally we wanted to have the the range over here and we were going to vent it and it was going to be a little more complicated than getting it up and out through there um, we just didn't want to have the the fridge on this side and sticking out and all that stuff but um we ran into problems over here with if we had put the fridge in the corner then opening those doors because the way that the fridge is set up there's a lot of would be there would be a lot of wasted space in just opening those doors over here. So anyway, that's why we rearranged these the design in the kitchen. And so his dad wants Scott to get all of this mud and taped in here. So he's uh, so he's using the mesh mesh tape and uh, and getting those coats on here so that when they come back to install some of those cabinets, it'll be ready to go. So now the fridge will be over on this side. Um, I think they need to still cut out that uh, the plug down there for that. So it's Sunday, February 11th. Who's this? Who's the hole? <laughs> and how many coats have you put on here already? Um, I think it's got. I think this is the fourth one. Oh, okay. So anyway, I think uh, this is going to be exposed. There'll be no cabinets there. So it, the rest of it's just fire taped. I mean, it's okay. not to be serious. Can you see what I have? But uh, mm -hmm. this one we want. You know. Good coat on. That's 
that's what I'm doing is getting a good coat on it. Right, and you can cut out this one for the outlet. That's so the fridge is going to go right there, and it might be a little bit so larger. You're not seeing than any you need. beads. That's what you're trying to do. You can actually, if you really, you know, you get good timing with your equipment, you can do it without sanding. You sand it a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Just, you know, do that. No mm -hmm. beads. Mm. So that's what we're after there. This is, uh, we have cabinets here. Actually, I think the fridge is going to be there. Yeah, the fridge will be, you know, basically there, from right here, here over there. Yeah. So we wanted to put that outlet right in here so that the fridge will be as snug to the wall as possible and have enough room to just, you know, hopefully that's going to work so it doesn't stick out too far. Mm -hmm. Right, so he's going to continue to do that along there, trying to prepare it for his dad to come back with the cabinets. The part he wants to do, get that ready, and also see what else Scott's been working on. So, hey, do you want to explain why you're using this mesh tape rather than the other kind of tape? I'm, you know. Because we're dealing with a pretty dry climate, I mean, I could mm -hmm. moist, I could moisten the white tape. Mm -hmm. It's a little cheaper to use white tape than it is to use that. But I, you don't even need to put mud down. You just put that stuff on there and then put mud over it. You know, mm -hmm. some people like it. Some people, it's good for repairs. That stuff. It's the oh. only way to do repairs. Mm -hmm. But I like, I just like using it. It's easy. And then over here, you've just been be doing this. You don't sand the first uh, coat or two, so you oh. can tear your tape. It up, sanding. Oh, okay, yeah. But uh, I like using it. So you've been putting the, we, we wanted to do these rounded corners here. Over. And it looks like you just applied that. Is this one coat on these rounded corners here? Right now, yeah. yeah I, okay. just, uh, I just applied the uh, bull nose rounded corners um, uh, Friday evening. Mm -hmm. um, but what will happen with these is it will go like this. You want to use a wide trough for this. You just get it on nice and thick, like this. And then once you get it uh, down, sort of, uh, you know, about right in here, you can take your trawl and feed it towards the the bead, like that. smooth it out a little bit. This is only the first coat on it. Hmm. It's gonna get it's gonna get about oh I would imagine three or four coats so that it flows. Oh right. And you don't have this anymore. Cool. I think that's, look, that's gonna look great. Wish I had one of those uh, rounded trolls mm. for that but it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Makes that easier. Yeah, we just wanted to have uh, I don't know, uh, that particular look, and I think we're we're pleased with the way it's turning out so far. So right now, his focus is on completing what his dad was instructed here for the for the kitchen, and the other part is in the bathroom because they're going to need to build up. A little platform here for the tub and get all this plumbing done so they want to be able to have this ready to roll when they come back hopefully soon so we can get this plumbing all finished and that's what's going on in here and I think that the I think we already talked about the bedroom <laughs> Sorry for being redundant here. <gasps> Trying to remember. Oh yeah, we, they were doing the no, this is very the ceiling part up in the the crawl space of the loft, and over here. So we're almost finished. Just this section to go across here, 
And when we get the guys, when we get Spencer and Dakota again this week, it'll be um, that final piece to get that ceiling part done. That'd be awesome. Does it look like this side up? Well, yeah, it'll look a lot. You won't even recognize it when we get a paint on it and stuff. So anyways, we got the bead loaded, or as they say in the finish business, load, loading the bead. <laughs> That's pretty good for the first coat. Eventually, so you got a little, you can see a little hump right there, so eventually what's going to happen is it's just going to get feathered to where it just flows. Okay. I'm going to ask for some assistance on my project idea. So this is a light fixture that was the best price ever, which is F-R-E-E. -E. So the problem is, well that's not really a problem because anything you don't have to pay for that you can use is always amazing. So it's this kind of a, I guess a nickel type finish, right? So what I want is to get it to match, these are the the sconces, right, that are going to be going up here. So if we're going to use this as one of the track lights, perhaps, you know, up there, then we might want some things to match. So my thought is that there has to be some way to get this to look like this. And I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but, um, Perhaps some folks may have an idea of what to do, and that's what I'm asking. So if anybody uh, maybe has seen something online or has a quick explanation of how to either finish it or the types of colors or, or paint or materials, any type of medium or whatever I need to know, uh, that would be amazing because I actually have two of these, and these are, you know, these are great fixtures. We could use one definitely up here. And then there's going to be another uh, outlet. Oops, <laughs> it's over. sorry, I'm up above here in the in the loft. So anyway, recycle, reuse. Scott was mentioning that he put some more mineral wool up around there uh, between the stovepipe and the radiant shield. So he's going to stuff it up there a little bit farther because it's still visible. But we needed to do something to block the <laughs> heat escaping right out of there. And then that radiant shield was just a uh, like a steel collar and we wanted it to match the stovepipe so he just took some black spray paint that we had for uh, spraying the, the outside grill and <laughs> did that up there so now it matches and uh, they're ready to go ahead and put the rest of that sheetrock around there. Well, I kind of had to take a step back from the project for a while because I felt really overwhelmed with my job and everything that was going on. So now I'm feeling a little bit better and uh, trying to re-engage for the parts that I'm really responsible for, which would definitely be keeping track of the budget, which I've been kind of putting off for a while. So things are getting down to the wire and we're realizing we need to make some strategic decisions on what actually has to be spent at this point and keeping track of that. So I'm going to work on that a little bit more this week and also we realized the part of the uh, financial situation that was really challenging was like paying double bills. So the construction loan, uh, the interest we're paying on that is so high now, it's basically matching what we're paying in rent in the apartment we're living in right now. And then we're paying, you know, uh, electricity up here and at the apartment and filling the propane tank and all of this. And so we decided we just gonna, we're going to have to um, just make the move. And uh, so we put in our notice on our apartment and um, I figured what I'm like what could possibly make me not stress too much well it would be the date after the spring break for, uh, which for us would be the week of March 13th and then that would be the final date is the 18th 
So I'm like, okay, if I could kind of work on things up until that point, and then by the end of spring break, you know, we could we could have stuff move. So our plan is to actually stay in the uh, camper RV that his dad has left um, on the lower part of the property, so we could sleep in that. And I think that's what the rush is right now to get the uh, the kitchen done. His dad wants to finish that, and the bathroom. We told him the bathroom is a definite priority. As long as we have a place to shower, um, or we have the the washer and dryer hooked up, so we could do some laundry we're fine we could cook on our camp stove like that's not a problem um, but the appliances were in at Lowe's we've picked those up and so his dad's working on building the, the cabinets in his shop in, in Anchorage so he wants to bring those down and, and install so that's why Scott's kind of uh, focusing on the kitchen and getting that completed so the other project is getting this done under here which we've been uh, we thought we had someone who was going to do it this underneath uh, carport enclosure um, which is this part down here. Well, here's some appliances, but <laughs> but this whole section down here is going to be enclosed. So it's basically everything that is on our garage at our apartment right now is going to be put in here. Plus, we could store, you know, some of the furniture and stuff. Uh, we don't want to actually sleep in in the house when we're still when there's all this construction going on. But um, if we could get this done, so actually uh, we found somebody this week who is, can help in the evening to get this part built. So I am very encouraged about that because once it's built, we can start moving things like a little bit at a time, stacking stuff up. You know, we're, we have this wall is where we're gonna put our freezers and uh, the electrician did make this live along here. So we have some power uh, for our outlets. We can plug our freezers in and we'll probably just put them on pallets or something right now. I mean, eventually we would like to finish this all in, you know, and put a slab down and such, but that'll be down the line. Right now we just need to get it enclosed and uh, to keep the weather off of our our uh, belongings. <laughs> and it's been quite mild uh, recently. It's supposed to go up even into perhaps the uh, lower 40s. Right now it's about 35 degrees. So we can see some melting going on. Hey there. So this is like, this is like snowball. This is snowball snow. Huh? Do you want, or do you want to make a snowman? You need to put some Ooh, don't you dare throw that at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you'll, that. you'll start something. Ooh, look at that. This is just turning into ice in my hand. Yeah, that's why things are just melting right off of the the roof there. So, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the update. So we have a definite, definite date we need to move towards. I was really... I was concerned about doing that because I didn't, just didn't want to stress myself out with any more pressure, but it's getting to the point where you realize, hey, I'm just throwing money away doing that, and um, if I kind of chip away at it a little bit of it at a time and try to stay positive, like, okay, we're getting that little bit done and, you know, move on to the next thing. Um, and so, anyway, that's about what's going on around here. Um, things are happening a little more so than um, a couple months ago when I felt really discouraged, like, oh, there's not enough happening and we're not making progress but uh, yes okay yes I'm coming in right now okay <laughs> all right that's it for now well, it's super foggy out on the bay today we're just heading out to the beach here and yeah, looks like an eagle is hanging out waiting for maybe for the tide to come in with some food he's just perched we saw some sea lions out there swimming, but they're off and then the other end of the the road there where we couldn't stop very easily. Did you stop right there? Yeah. There they are. I can't see anything. Sea lions down there. They're like one, two, three, four, five. Well, I think there's six of them. See them? Yeah, I see them. Look at them all. They must have found something to snack on. I can't see, Mom. <laughs> 